Coming up right now on Around the Oval. In Oklahoma, the risk for severe weather is always around the corner. We'll tell you how USAO is preparing. And Around the Oval's Taylor Finney recaps women's basketball. That's all right now on Around the Oval. If you spent any time in Oklahoma, you may have experienced a wide array of weather conditions. Many of USAO students aren't from this state or even the country, so they don't know what to do or expect when severe weather arrives. There are two safe areas assigned on campus. They're located on the first floor of the library in Station 82 in the Student Center. When you enroll in classes, your information is saved in the Drover Alert System. This is then used when severe weather approaches the campus by sending you either a text, email, or calling the phone number you've provided. It's important to always be weather aware, so keep an eye on local news stations, download a weather app, and update your information online at usao.bbcportal.com. For Around the Oval, I'm Tabitha Whiteside. Thursday, January 10th, the USAO women's basketball team hosted John Brown University for its second home game of the new year. The Drovers outscored the Golden Eagles 16-8 in the first quarter, but John Brown turned on the energy to take the lead at half 29-28. USAO struggled in the second half to drop the game 69-48. Though the game didn't end in USAO's favor, one player exuded confidence. Second-year returner Vivian Holcomb recorded her 10th double-double of the season during Thursday's battle with 15 points and 15 rebounds. Last season, Holcomb ended the year averaging 10 points and 7.4 rebounds per game. Now, as of Friday, January 18th, Holcomb has improved to 15.4 points and 11.5 rebounds per game. We're finally starting to pull ourselves out of that slump that we've been in. and. Uh, so I think that things are definitely looking, there's a brighter side coming. Next up, the Drovers will host Conference Bow, Panhandle University, Thursday, January 24th. Show off your Drover pride in the USAO Fieldhouse to support the women's and men's basketball team for the 6 p.m. tip-off. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Taylor Finney. <laughs> 